Hi everyone, my name is Parag and welcome to the very first episode of How to Make a Life. This is where we talk to people who have built a life doing what they love. Now, kicking off with a very potent very important first episode is on mixology. Joining me is Young Dup Lama. With 25 years of professional bartending experience under his belt, he is regarded as the Yoda of Indian bartending. And today we're going to find out why. Young Dup, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you, Parag, for having me as part of the show. All right. Now, uh, 2020 has been an eventful year for you. Uh, Drinks International mm-hmm. magazine featured you on the Bar World's 100 list of most influential people in the global beverage industry. And this is the first for mm-hmm. an Indian. And to top it off, your bar, Sidecar in South Delhi, has also been ranked as one of the top 50 bars in Asia and is the only Indian bar on the list. Now, I want to understand, why do you think it's taken so long for India to feature on these lists? What do these awards signify for you personally and for Sidecar? And what does it mean for bartenders and bars in India going forward? So first and the foremost, coming to the fact that, you know, it's really taken a long time. These awards, especially the world's 50 best and Asia's 50 best awards, the whole concept of these awards started some 10 years ago, 11 years ago. Uh, and it did take a certain amount of time. For example, in the Asia's 50 best, we are the second bar because there was a bar in 2017, right. the air bar in Mumbai at the Four Seasons Hotel, which was featured in that list. But we are the first bar to be featured in the world's 50 best list this year, where you know they do the world's 50 best plus another uh, 50, 51 to 100, and we were in 91. So there we were the first bars to be a part of the list. And I think there is a reason for it. You know, the reason why it took such a long time is first and foremost, I think the focus, you know, being being cocktail, bar culture, I think the focus was mostly towards the Western countries. So even, you know, the other parts of Asia was not featured in that list as in, they were featured, but just a, just one or two of them until five years ago, you know, so mostly it would be bars from London and in America, Right. Uh, so mostly from the Western world. And then certainly there was a shift, certain shift in terms of attention towards bars emerging out of Singapore and Hong Kong and Japan. And that is when the Asian uh, diversity kind of showed off in the, in the beverage world, in the cocktail world. Right. Now, India being so rich in terms of its diversity, you know, as a country, we never have a bar culture even now. We do not really have a bar culture. For us, drinking alcohol means it's it's like you're either partying or you're not a right. person of a great character. So that was always the thing that, that had been there for the longest time. Even as a bartender, for me to open my own bar, it was like one of the most difficult things because not many bartenders can dream of opening up their own bar in a country like India because of many constraints, right? One is, of course, the amount of money that you need to set up a bar here. Secondly, the kind of uh, you know, licensing that you got to do with the with the authorities. It's it's a it's not everybody's cup of tea. You got to be right. really really good at it or have the right connections. Right. Yeah. So so I think that's also another thing. And and you know, even now when you look at mostly bars and restaurants, they are not driven by chefs and they're not driven by bartenders. I know of a few restaurants which are now driven by chefs and doing extremely well making a mark for themselves. But in terms of the bar, you know, it's still not driven by bartenders. And I think the reason why we got recognized is also because it's driven by the bartender, like it's driven by me and my set of bartenders, right? So which means that we, apart from doing business, we bring a very strong passion into into the business as in what we put on the table for the customer is not just drinks and do business out of it. We are also bringing in our love and passion on the table and it shows uh, in the long run. And I think it is also something that gets recognized in the true sense of it, right? And that's that's also the reason why uh, it's actually taken a long time and uh, right. it has happened. And it is definitely a great step towards now bringing India and showing what India has to offer to the world right. in the cocktail space. <laughs> Wonderful. And uh, like you mentioned, right, you, you're one of the first bartenders in the country uh, to open his own bar, open their own bar. And you've already mentioned, talked about the barriers to opening uh, opening one. 
now now yeah. that you now that we know that it can be done right what do you uh what would you suggest a bartender who has aspirations of opening his own bar do to go ahead and uh you know have his own venture so it is quite you know what is also happening is with connectivity with the way the world is growing with globalization i think the exposure of the consumer has grown many folds and because of which today the consumer is also very aware in terms of what he or she wants when he goes to a bar or restaurant he or she knows that a good bartender can make a great bar and be able to extend a great experience and that is also something that has now become of a bigger realization even for promoters of bars and restaurants right right so which means uh, it has we we've, we've kind of come a long way that ways also from a system perspective even even uh, you know the the way the authority behaves now is like uh, people know that you know it's it's good to have uh, or make it slightly easier of course not so easy but still much much easier than what it used to be 10 years ago right. to get a bar license to be able to find the right place to be able to find the right investor so things are getting better uh, we have come a long way but there's still lots to do and of my suggestion to younger bartenders amateur bartenders and people who would like to make this as a career and have a dream of opening up their own bar i think it's only getting better from here and uh, i think if you have the right passion if you have the right talent and if you have a dream you should definitely pursue it money should not be a constraint because you'll have now you also have uh, you know an investor is not just a businessman anymore an investor right. also understands the fact that there is passion required to make a successful food and beverage venture so you know it's kind of helped uh, in a more holistic manner you know from every sense of it so dream big and go for it all right so you're saying the perception has changed and it's no longer just about the business it's all about providing the experience absolutely 